So in the original version of the multi-frequency on the Rutus hair tracks uh, that I've done a previous video on, there was one multi-frequency option that you could switch on once you got above 16.8 kilohertz, I think it was. Um, but since then, uh, Rutus have released a second version, uh, which is now installed on here. Second version has kind of 10 multi-frequency options, but they're just nudged on from each other, a bit like when you're shifting to avoid uh, EMI on a single frequency machine, and that's kind of what it does here. So let me demonstrate how you switch on and use the multi-frequency new version on uh, the Airtrex. So first, go into programs, and on frequency, go above 18.6 and this one's got all the way to the end of the normal frequencies then you'll see M1, 2, 3 all the way up to 10 you can choose these based on the EMI around you and as a normal EMI screen when you're on frequency like this you just press the program button and you get the EMI frequency but this one is showing you the EMI against the multi-frequency options that you have. Now I'm in the house uh, at the minute, so the EMI is going all over the place. And EMI and impact on your frequencies is worse when you're in multi-frequency, because obviously you are running loads of different frequencies at once. So, different when you're out in the field, but in essence, works the same as the normal EMI screen and the frequencies, you just notch down or up. You see it moving across on your frequencies until you find one that's relatively clear and then select that one the same way go back into M3 so you've got 10 frequencies you nudge along after checking your EMI to find out where your EMI is uh, most uh, high and it's going to give you most issues so that's how the multi-frequency options 10 of them now in the new air tracks work and that's how you get into them that's how you move them along that's you know which ones are going to work best for you and then the screen is as it was on the original version of multi-frequency where you've got a little multi-frequency icon here showing next to whichever program you've normally got it set in and you're in multi-frequency on the new version